Good morning. It's been a long time since I've made a video. Been really busy and had a lot on my mind, especially in the state of the world and the, and the attacks and the and the the explosion of anti-Semitism. Um, but um, I noticed, um, and I'm I'm a very blunt person, so I'll be blunt. I'm 100% against the Noahide movement, and this is why. This is in uh, Numbers chapter 15 in the Hebrew Bible. I'm using the JPS Tanakh now. Um, there's other better better ones than this, um, but a us here or there. So let me just read this. This is uh, Numbers chapter 15, starting in verse 14 here. And when throughout the ages a stranger who has taken up residence with you or one who lives among you would present an offering by fire pleasing odor to Adonai as you do, so shall it be done by the rest of the congregation. There shall be one law for you and the resident stranger. It shall be a law for all time throughout the ages. You and the stranger shall be alike before Adonai. The same ritual and the same rule shall apply to you and to the stranger who resides among you. I didn't see any seven Noahide laws in there. That a bunch of rabbis that are pushing a form of Judaism that's only existed for the last 300 years out of uh, what's today the Ukraine. Hasidism. I respect them and I appreciate th their for keeping the Torah alive, but I highly disagree with them on many things. And so does the Torah. And so does Hashem. So seek Hashem. Not the uh, the opinions of what other men want because they're dead wrong. Dead wrong. There's one law for everyone. You're either in covenant or you're out. Now I would also like to go to the prophet Isaiah. Chapter 56. And I will read to give everybody a little encouragement because... Remind yourself and look in the mirror. Was it another man that called you back to this? To keep Shabbat? To do these things? Put this, whether you're Jewish or you grew up Christian, Buddhist, Hindu, whatever. Remember who's the one who put it in your heart to seek these things. It was Hashem. So obey Him. For thus says Adonai, observe what is right and what is just. For soon my salvation shall come and my deliverance be revealed. Happy is the man who does this. The man who holds fast to it, who keeps the Sabbath and does not profane it, and stays his hand from doing any evil. Let not the foreigner say who has attached himself to Adonai, Adonai will keep me apart from his people. Let, and let not the eunuch say, I am a withered tree, for thus, Adonai, for thus says Adonai, as for the eunuchs who keep my Sabbath, who have chosen what I desire and hold fast to my covenant, I will give them in my house and within my walls a monument and a name better than the sons or daughters. I will give them an everlasting name which shall not perish. As for the foreigners who have attached themselves to Adonai to minister to him and to love the name of Adonai, to be his servants, all who keep the Sabbath and do not profane it, and who hold fast to my covenant, I will bring them to my sacred mount and let them rejoice in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices shall be welcome on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Thus declares Adonai God. So, all you rabbis throughout the world pushing this Noahide movement, you should spend more time in studying the Torah and the prophets and less time studying writings by other men throughout the ages. Smarten up. And people... Stop following other men and start following Hashem. Baruch Hashem.